this is May and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to create your very own hair in Zapeto. Now, this video is for 3D creators and I'm going to use Maya 2022, the latest version. So yes, if you are using Blender, I hope this tutorial will be able to help you in creating your own hair. And um, I'm sorry for my grammatical errors and stutters since I am filming this live. So without further ado, let's get started, meow! So as you can see, here is my workspace. The first thing we'll do is of course drag dropping the headwear guide. My headwear guide is the 2020 version. You can use the updated one. And when you drag drop it, you'll see this um view now we don't need the dummy hair since we are going to create the hair from scratch and so we'll also delete the dummy face we don't need that and then click the first step is to click the mask and then click this magnet thingy this will help you plot the points for your hair on the mask's shape if that makes sense so click the mask first and then click this it should say mask is live the next step is to click create click curve tool and then cv curve tool now we'll go to wireframe mode and plot the points this will serve as the vertex for your hair now um you can always edit this point so just do whatever you want to do with it any anyways so after plotting the points i already did lots for one strand <laughs> and i am planning on creating a pop cut that's why it's only here but if ever you want to continue it will follow the face i mean the shape of the mask that's why it's ideal to stop right here and then after that click this so that we can disable the live mode and then let's click Q or this one then zoom in right click and click control vertex after that we'll now edit each vertex point and we'll move it away from the mask now why away from the mask it's because we'll need to create a space for the hair and for the scalp i guess that's how real the hair works anyways meows if you know a software that could show the keys that i'm pressing right now it will be a huge help if you could drop it down on the comment section mm -hmm. because i want to help meows too anyways now we we moved it away from the mask it's now time for shaping since this is kind of a pop cut apple cut thingy we'll move it right here kind of inner inner and then let's move it down this one so it will have this beautiful curve right here and then on the sides let's just move it here oh no that's too much move it here Mm -hmm. Move everything here. Okay. And then let's move this outer a bit. This one for a bit too. This one. Okay. Now we finished the skeleton of our hair. This will serve as the guide of the flow of our hair. So after that, we'll click this arrow point. You can click it via Q then F8 wait my nose is itchy <laughs> okay F8 and then the next step is to create your hair strand for me I created using plain as you can see here now we'll need to cut this so we'll use the cutting tool like this pointy pointy F11 to remove the excess faces mm -hmm. and then let's add no let's use this and then let's add more lines here so that we can create the dimension of the hair like 
this and then F10. Let's raise all three. Let's raise it. Now let's do much. Then let's raise the middle part. Now it will look like this. Now don't worry because you can edit it later after it's right here. Now after creating your hair strand, we can edit it. Let's make it a little bit smaller and longer. Okay, now that we edited it, we'll need to click Q once again. And then click plane, click curve, click deform and then curve wrap now as you can see this looks weird right this looks very weird <laughs> and we'll need to still i mean we still need to edit it so we'll click we'll uncheck this box keep length so it will look like that okay see that uncheck the uh where's it keep length and then from here on you can adjust each each part here it depends on your um i mean it depends on how you like your hair but yes we just have to uh experiment now offset is if it's lower or um higher please take note that it it's always the I mean, it always depends on the skeleton, this line. So, as you can see, if you make the offset higher, it gets lower at that angle. Because that's how we did it. And, but, and yes. Okay, we won't need that anyways. Now, envelope is how it's hugging the line. So, maximum of that. Then, something accuracy. It's just... Let's make it max. Next scale. No changes. Max scale. Oh. We want a little bit smaller. We want a smaller type of hair. Oh no, not that small. That one. It looks perfect. Now we can also change the curve if we want to change it. And make this lower. Like small from the top and then fat at the bottom. Like this. You can do that, but you can also thin it out. It depends on you. But for me, let's make it just that. Let's make this a little bit higher. Okay. Now, the next is the rotation. See that? It flips. This helps with the bangs though, the front bangs really helps okay let's rotate it a little bit like this no 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 let's cover up the side faces there you go now the twist rotation is uh how the face flips look but we won't need that let's just do it like this Okay, sorry, sorry for that. Wait for a bit. My uh, record says I am low bat, so let me charge. It. Okay, now it's charging. Oh yeah. Anyways, oh, yeah. after doing oh, yeah. this oh, yeah. strand, that's just it. Yes, that's it. You can edit further, but I will stop right here and then delete. No, um, delete history, then curve, and then we have a hair strand. You can now edit it as much as you would like. And then you can also click mesh and then click smooth. Wait for it. It will make your hair look smoother and better. Like, look at that. See that? You can also edit the width am i right by doing this see anyways that's how you model the hair strands of the hair file that's how modeling works if you have more 
I mean, if you want me to have more specifications about creating the hair, I really think that it will take too long. That's why I only did a strand. So yes, I hope you learned something from this video. And yes, as always, thank you so much for watching and bye-bye!